Welcome to TV Repair Made Easy, brought to you by ShopJimmy.com. Visit www.shopjimmy.com to search the hundreds of thousands of TV parts in our inventory. Please make sure that your TV is unplugged and that you are properly grounded. There are various ways to ground yourself, but the most common way is to use a grounding wrist strap. Take photos and notes often to help remember the location and orientation of the parts and wires. And feel free to pause and backtrack through this tutorial as much as needed. DLP chips contain millions of microscopic mirrors. Each mirror can turn towards the lens to reflect light at an exact location on the TV screen or turn away to help create darker tones. This technology, combined with a color wheel, allows for rich tones and dark blacks to appear on a DLP screen. It is common for a mirror or mirrors within the chip to get stuck in either the on or off position. When this occurs, fixed white and or black dots will appear on your screen. These dots will not move across your screen or blink at any time. Unfortunately, you cannot release the mirrors once they are stuck. In order to resolve the issue, you will need to replace your DLP chip. Most of the time, these stuck mirrors can be viewed by the naked eye. So let's take a look at a few DLP chips of varying quality. Here we have an undamaged DLP chip. It has a perfect reflection and does not display any dots on the screen. This is what a damaged DLP chip typically looks like. Upon close inspection, you can see little specks of reflection. These are mirrors stuck in the on position. In most cases, not that many of the mirrors will be stuck. Should your DLP screen be plagued with little white specks, your DLP chip will look something like this piece of sparkly art. It looks like pretty much all of the mirrors are stuck in various positions. Now that we've explained both symptom and cause, let's go find that DLP chip and replace it. The DLP chip is located within the light engine or optical engine. To be best prepared to replace the DLP chip inside of your TV, you will need the following materials. A pair of latex gloves, your shopjimmy.com replacement DLP chip, a pair of needle nose pliers, both a flathead and Phillips screwdriver, and a cup to hold all screws, clips, and any other small items. So let's get to it, shall we? Be sure to unplug your TV before starting any repairs. Unscrew and remove the bottom panel from the back of your TV. Remove all cables from the light engine. Take care not to use excessive force when removing cables. Exact locations of cables will vary depending on TV. Remove the screws holding the light engine in place. Carefully remove the light engine from the TV. Remove the lens shroud by removing the corresponding screws. Take care not to touch the lens. Remove all cables from the DMD board. Remove the DMD board housing screws. Remove the back half of the DMD board housing from the bottom. Remove the DMD board screws. Make sure to support the board as you remove the final screws. Remove the DMD board from the light engine. Release the DLP chip heatsink by removing the corresponding screws.
Remove the heatsink. Remove any remaining DMD board screws. Remove the DMD board from the front housing. Unlock and remove the DLP chip from the DMD board. Before installing the new DLP chip, please verify that it is equivalent in appearance to the original DLP chip and that all part numbers are compatible. Compatible part numbers are listed on all relative Shop Jimmy product pages. Remove all fingerprints and dust from the glass surface with a clean microfiber cloth. Install and lock your new DLP chip. Reinstall the DMD board into the front half of the housing. Reinstall the DLP chip heatsink. Reinstall the DMD board onto the light engine. Reinstall the back half of the DMD board housing. Reinstall all DMD board cables on the lens side. Take care not to damage any cables while reinstalling. Reinstall the lens shroud. Before reinstalling the light engine into your TV, please take a moment to verify that all surfaces, especially near the lens, are clean and free of dust. Carefully place the light engine back into the TV and secure it with the corresponding screws along the bottom. Reinstall all light engine cables. Take care not to damage any cables when reinstalling. Reinstall the bottom panel on the back of your TV. Your Shop Jimmy replacement DLP chip does not need any manual configuration in order to function properly. Simply plug in your TV, wait for the green status light to stop blinking, power on, and you will see that all black and white dots are no longer present within your display. Should you notice a slight distortion to the angle of your picture along the edges, please check to make sure that your light engine and DMD board are flush and secure within their housings. Thank you for watching one of our many tutorials here at ShopJimmy.com. If you need any further assistance, please don't hesitate to call our award-winning customer service team at the number on your screen.